stuff coming up. And I think we are set up now for Carter, so thank you for your patience. And uh, please enjoy some of these Zappa runs by Carter44. guys so now we got a little mini kind of zapper block thing we're gonna do we got five classic zapper games uh, we're starting with the first one the most famous one right off the bat and uh, the way it works for games like this that don't necessarily have an end is uh, we try to get to a certain point value as fast as we can so we're gonna go on to tough mode which is the hardest mode and we're gonna get to a quarter of a million points So, time's going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, here we go. So we have three different kinds of ducks we can get. We can get black ones, we can get blue ones, we can get red ones. Uh, the black ones are only worth 500 points, the blue ones are worth 1,000, and the red ones are worth 1,500. So, we want to see as much red as we can. Uh, there's no red in the first round, but hopefully we'll see some coming up. Use two duck mode because it's harder. <laughs> and it's faster. Because if you only have one duck, then they only come out one at a time. If you have two, you can get through the rounds in half the time. There's some red. Lots of red. Oh, there's lots of red, okay. This run is basically 100% RNG. You can only get so good at these games, and then it's the game's fate whether or not they're gonna give you the RNG that you need. There's also another category for uh, 100,000, and uh, if RNG goes according to plan, I should be getting that very soon. Oh yeah. So if you shoot all of the ducks without, like, missing any, uh, you get a nice 10,000 bonus at the end of each round. That, uh, that bonus is going to go up as we go, and the ducks are also going to get a lot faster. <laughs> so it's going to get harder the more we play. Oh, 
Also, fun fact, regardless of the color of the duck when I shoot them, the dog always holds up two black ones. <laughs> game it's actually a little bit more efficient to be further away from the TV because if you're closer you're gonna have to move the gun a lot more where if you're further back you're just gonna have to move it a little bit so that's something people think that you should be like right up like pointing it right at the TV it's actually a lot better to be set further back Yeah, you get three shots for two ducks, so you can only miss one bullet. There we go. So our bonus is going up a little bit. You actually waste three frames just in the time that the screen flashes. Every time you pull the trigger, the screen will flash one frame in black, and then one frame will be the, the white where the target is, and then the next frame will be fully black. So if you miss a shot, it's going to do those three frames, and you're going to miss three frames off your time. I almost missed that one. So I lost three frames plus the extra time it took me to the red one up in the corner. There are 99 functioning rounds in Duck Hunt, and then there's an extra... Oh, time's coming up as soon as I get to 250,000. And those are round zero at the end, but that doesn't count. As soon as it says 250,000 in the corner there. Oh, I missed one, that's okay. We're already at the end, so I don't need one. No, that, that wouldn't have bumped me up. Duck hunt. There we go. We'll just let them laugh now. Because that's what everyone wants to see here. Oh, two more red. Thank you for the GG's. I have no idea what time that was. I don't have a timer going. But next up, I think next up we have Barker Bill's Trick Shooting, which is my favorite.
on okay we're back good alrighty <laughs> there I am all right so this is my favorite Zapper game this is Barker Bill's trick shooting and that dog on the title screen is the duck hunt dog that's official uh, so the game has four four modes uh, but the the fourth mode is a mixture of all three so the first three are basically practiced on the fourth one's the game Alright, so, timing is gonna start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So this is very similar to Duck Hunt this first round. We're just shooting the balloons, two come out at a time. You can get it to a little bit of a rhythm pattern where you can get two going at once like this. But it's almost all RNG again. There we go. And there's the dog again. And now we're on to the, the next round, Flying Saucers. If a bird flies on the screen right now, I'm going to lose about a second and a half. There he is. Okay, we don't like that bird. This is the hard part, this is where you save all your time. If you're fast, you can shoot them before they go behind the windows. Very hard to do. You only have a few frames to do it. Like, there we go, I got one. Oh, missed that one. It's called early window panes, there's another one. It's very tricky to get them above the windows. But that will save you a lot of time each time you do it. There we go. <clears throat> now we have Trixie. <coughs> Trixie's up here now. Time is going to end as soon as she finishes waving and the screen fades to black. So she holds up these coins, and if you're not careful, you can shoot in between the coins and actually shoot her and lose a whole bunch of time. That bird up there can also steal the coins and fly away with them. Oh, I got him though. Oops, there, I did both the things I just did. <laughs> there we go. There we go, okay. And... Time. There we go. So that was very quick. That's one of the shortest Sapper games there are. Actually, I think it is the shortest Sapper game. And now it just loops on basically forever. But yeah, that's that's Barker Bills. Thank you for the GGs. Uh, we have what's next? Is it a gumshoe or shooting range? 
I'll get that set up. I think it's shooting range. Shooting range. Now this one, this one's a bit unique because this one actually uses the controller and the zapper. So you got to do like one-handed controller while you're doing one-handed zapper. <laughs> um, I tried to get a way to like tape it to the side of the gun so I could do it all with two hands. I couldn't do it. So yeah, I kind of like you got to like rest one on your knee and then hold up the gun. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Um, so this has uh, four stages, but you're only going to really play three of them. One of them's a bonus round. Uh, for the bonus round, the fastest way to get through it is to just spam the zapper, so the screen's going to be flashing a lot when we get to round three. <laughs> It'll only last about 20 seconds. Alright, so time will start in uh, five, four, three... Two, one, go. We gotta scroll around and find the targets that randomly appear on the screen. So in this first round we just need to get to 5,000 points for the round to end, so if we get a, a long period with no targets we're gonna run out of time, but I don't think that'll happen because we're doing good. Let's see, halfway there for this round. Those little E's that pop up sometimes, those are worth a lot of points. And they, uh, they're basically, basically health. There'll be some that'll be backwards, those will take away health, but they give you points too, like that one. So I'm going to take them anyway. There we go, that's round one. Now we're into round two. This is the worst round because there can be long periods of time where just no targets come on the screen, and you don't have much time to beat the round. you got to get to 7,000 points. This little red guy down here in the corner, he can actually despawn things, so it's not good to have him on screen very long. There he is again. Uh, those little ones, the red ones, they give you extra time, so I don't think it's possible to beat the round without getting the extra time. So if you miss that one, then you're done. There we go. There's three of them. Actually not doing too bad for points right now. I need to get to 7,000. Almost there. I believe after this we have, uh, To the Earth. And then Gumshoe. Is that how that goes? We're almost there. We're gonna be going into the third round where we're just gonna spam the zapper. Alright, good. I need basically one more target, then we're on to round three. One more after that one. There we go, okay. So now we're gonna hit a whole bunch of buttons on the controller and you're just gonna wail into the zapper. <laughs> this is not good for your zapper, by the way. Alright, there we go. We got through it. <laughs> okay, so now we're on... This is the last round. We don't actually have to shoot anything for like 40 seconds right now. Um, 
when the time at the bottom gets to 100, there's gonna be a boss thing, I don't know what it's called. It's gonna come up, and we have to shoot that five times, but we don't need to shoot anything before that, so we just have to sit in this one spot and wait for it. You can only shoot it, the hitbox is actually very small, and you can only shoot it when the eye is open, so it's gonna be a little tricky, but we'll get it. I'm a pretty good pace here, too. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And when it explodes, that's gonna be time. Time. There we go, there's shooting range. <laughs> there's shooting range, any percent. There's other categories for getting certain bonuses and stuff, but, uh, there's the game. 63% accuracy, that's not bad for spamming through an entire round. <laughs> oh boy, now we got the hardest sapper game ever made. The hardest light gun game ever made. To the earth. Let's do it. Thank you for the GG's. Okay, here we are. We're gonna have to take a deep breath before this one. Yes, this is harder than Baby Boomer. This is a lot harder than Baby Boomer. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just gonna breathe before we get into this game because this is, I believe this is one of the hardest NES games there are. I honestly have no idea how many people in the world have even beaten this. We're gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> so this has four rounds. And um, the first two are fairly easy. The third one gets a little bit harder. And then the last round is absolutely crazy. So, time's gonna start in three, two, one, go. And I, I just hyped up this game a whole lot, but you can actually sit here for like 20 seconds and not shoot anything. Uh, the only time you need to shoot anything here is if they are shooting at you, and for the first little bit, nothing shoots at you. So that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> you get to breathe before the game goes. And uh, when I was playing Duck Hunt, I explained the uh, the three frame thing. How when you pull the trigger, it does the three frame flash to see if you actually uh, hit a target. So I'm gonna take advantage of that right now and I'm gonna let some shots hit me and every time I do I'm gonna save three frames so I'm gonna let my health go down a bit that's okay okay that's about the thirds we're gonna go now I'm gonna start shooting things the big problem with this game and you don't really get it in other light gun games is that the hitbox you have to shoot is actually smaller than the target you see on the screen so, like in Duck Hunt, you have a bigger box than the actual duck to shoot, but in this game you have to hit the very center of all the targets. And honestly, or actually, when you miss a shot in this game, you actually lose health. 
so you need to have very good accuracy just to survive. If you shoot the, uh, the ships, you'll get some health back, but you don't get it for shooting the missiles. So it's kind of... Kind of not really fair to the player, but <laughs> we're gonna get through it. That little uh, red ball in the, the corner there. When you shoot that, that will get rid of everything on the screen. It'll just wipe everything clear. And the way you get that is to lose health and then regain it. So there'll be a couple times where I'm going to purposely lose health so I can get it back and I'll get my little red ball of death in the corner there. There's a lot of weird speed tech like that. Like purposely getting hit and losing damage on purpose, but it's all faster in the end. Here we are, we're getting closer to the planet. Uh, you know when you see the planet, that means there's gonna be your boss battle soon, so it's coming up right here. Alright, that was a good quick kill. 91% accuracy, hey. Alright, now we're going to Saturn. So this round, again, is pretty much the same. It's a little harder, but it's... It's not impossible by any means. <laughs> right now we only have these long red missiles, but soon we're going to be getting the uh, speed balls, which are going to be really fast and a lot harder to hit. We're not too bad right now. Uh, this is kind of like a little secret. The uh, asteroid fields. The, the reason this is here, it's only this bottom one that'll actually hit you. But this is basically here to regain your health, because every time you shoot them you get a little bit of health back, so that's basically the reason this that whole section is there. And you'll see that in the later stages, and that's why. So now we're back. And it's, it's only the one at the very bottom that hit you. All the other ones go right by you. I didn't know that when I first started playing this, and I was trying to shoot everything. <laughs> you, you don't need to. You can also mess with your eyes a bit when the uh, screen starts scrolling upward. That usually doesn't happen uh, by itself in a lot of games like this. <laughs> usually for Zapper games, you're either straight on what you see or you're scrolling back and forth a bit. You don't really go up and down. Condition red. When it says the different conditions, that just means how hard the, the stage is getting. Like, it gets harder as it goes on. This game is almost like a puzzle game. Because you need to know what things you're supposed to shoot and what things you're not supposed to shoot and when to shoot what. So it is kind of like a puzzle game. 
for example, if you shoot that red or that uh, the green ship there, it won't fire at you for some reason. I don't know how I figured that out. Guys, one hand just for a second. This is a hard one to do when you're streaming because there's like zero time to ever look at chat while you're while you're doing it. It requires so much focusing. It's also pretty hard in your hands after a while. We're almost on to the third stage. Saturn. Zapper games are a lot of fun to run though. I definitely recommend them. I don't know if I recommend this as a speed game. <laughs> but uh, definitely the rest I'm doing this marathon are great to run. Ba boom. Ninety-three percent accuracy that time. To Jupiter. Here we go. Yeah, I'm still looking at chat a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to look at chat in the last round, I can do it right now. This round is also going to be the introduction to the fast red balls. Uh, I'm going to have a couple coming up here. Right here. If you shoot that guy before he gets closer, you'll deserve a lot of help. Yes, I can read it. <laughs> Mr. Streamer can read it. Oh, I got hit. That quick flash was uh, a missile. And there's going to be almost exclusively those in the last round. There's another one. I got that one. And they take a lot of damage really, really fast, so you got to be careful for those. Yeah, 
go. You gotta shoot that one right in its weak spot. 89% accuracy for that one. Alright, to the earth, here we go. Last round. Let's hopefully not die. No guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> Full health, we're okay. For those uh, weird shaped ships, it's actually better to shoot them instead of the bullets because you get more health from shooting them than you do, uh, than you lose when you get hit by their bullets. That's what I mean by this is kind of like a puzzle game. <laughs> like the world's hardest puzzle game. The most painful puzzle game. Almost there. Here we go. Time ends when page the black. There we go. Page the black. Time. Deep breath. <laughs> we 
did it. We made it all the way to Earth. That is one of the hardest NES games. And is it is the hardest Zapper game. <laughs> made it all the way to the Earth. Okay. 90% accuracy. That's pretty good. Here's the final screen. Thank you for all the GG's. Alright, we got Gumshoe up next, which is not as hard, but it's not easy. <laughs> and uh, Nestor the Magnificent, that's a uh, Nintendo Power reference, by the way. Alright, so we got the last one coming up. Wow, first try. Got a uh, gumshoe working. Alright. So, here we have gumshoe. Uh, so this is similar to Two of the Earth in the way that it's not very long, so they made it really hard. Uh, it's The gumshoe isn't nearly as hard. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not impossible by any means. And I'm going to take a little bit of safety precaution, and I'm going to get a power-up in the first stage that'll guarantee me to the end. So, uh, time will start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So I do not control... this, this little guy is named Stevenson. I don't control him walking, but I control him jumping. And uh, you control him jumping by shooting him, so I don't know what they were going for there, but good job, Nintendo. And we're gonna collect a whole bunch of balloons here, because we're gonna get a power-up from it, just to be safe here. I love this music, by the way. This is just so happy. You can also shoot the targets that are coming towards them. So we're gonna have some nice Nintendo logic here. We're gonna have birds that are gonna be flying, and when you shoot them, they either turn into a uh, roasted chicken or a potion. So there's a potion. And now we're pink. There's a roasted chicken, which is nothing. If we can get five potions, we're gonna be really set. We're not gonna die at all throughout the run. If, uh, if we don't get that, then <laughs> I'm only gonna have one hit I can take. So there's another potion. We need three more, I'm probably not gonna get it. Alright, so we got two potions, so we're not doing the best, but... <laughs> oh, well, we'll live with it. And now since we got a power-up, the game gets harder on us. Alright, so we only got like three there. That's okay. So the the lore of this game is kind of weird. Uh, a little girl got kidnapped, so now we need to go get diamonds to pay her ransom. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's what we're doing. So there's in each stage there's a diamond, and she can only pass the stage if you collect it. So we just got that one back there.
Oh, okay, I got hit. Well, we're dead. <laughs> That's the first round. Uh, I got the bonus, so it put me back halfway through the level, so that was all one stage. If I miss a dime, oh, if I miss a dime, then yeah, it, uh, I think it just loops. Which isn't fun in a speedrun. Not a marathon safe game. <laughs> the other diamond, or the second diamond. There we go. That's not the end of the stage. Here we go. Uh, you might be wondering what all these balloons do. Uh, and at this point in the game, absolutely nothing. Unless you're one of five people in the world that go for high scores in this game. <laughs> the balloons don't really do anything. But, uh, it's a Nintendo, so there has to be a way to get points. the end of the stage. Also, you don't have to shoot those fish, they just go over you, and yeah, you don't gotta shoot those birds either. You gotta get that shark, though. Let's go between the balloons. <laughs> the stage is strange. I almost died there, but you know. And now every time there's a shark, you have to shoot it twice, even though the first time was only once. I don't really know why. You gotta get them twice from now on, though. So many things bones. And those, uh sea urchin things don't really have a hitbox until they start falling down. That's a little impossible to shoot them when they're going up. I almost got hit there. That would not have been good. <laughs> That's okay. We're alright, we made it. There we 
There we go. Zuli's Kingdom. Almost there. Alright, this is the last stage. Again, it's a lot harder than the previous ones. We'll survive. I'm gonna play this very safe. The concept with, for this game was so great, and I just, their execution, <laughs> I don't even know. It's an interesting speedrun though. I died. That's not good. I think that actually put us ahead a little bit. So this is, I think, lava, but you can just walk on it, so I don't understand. <laughs> There's a way to flip into that wall there, but I won't be doing that. Now we get a machine gun. This game just... <laughs> this game just keep on giving. So now I have a machine gun, I can't shoot yet. That's okay. Oh, so those bombs on the screen... Those will blow up and basically instantly kill you whether they touch you or not. Alright, so now, for some reason, there's a massive terrifying monster that I need to fight. For some reason. I don't know. Let's do it. It's a Nintendo. Time ends when he blows up. Seize your warning. If anyone doesn't like flashing screens, I'm gonna recommend you look away now. There we go. Alright, time. <laughs> and we got our last diamond. And now we can pay our ransom to get the little girl back. I have no idea what that story was even about. <laughs> that's, that's the game. And there she is. We might never have seen Jennifer. The game didn't tell us who Jennifer was. It's that little girl. <laughs> and now the game instantly loops. Alright. So. So that will conclude the mini zapper block. If anyone's interested in running uh, some of these games, 
We have a Zapper Academy Discord server. You can find the link to that on almost all of the leaderboards. Uh, they're a lot of fun. It you, it doesn't hurt your hand that much after a while. And uh, that's that's all for me. So thank you for having me. I'll be watching the next uh, next runs. All right, that was awesome. Carter, 44, links in the chat to follow that runner. Also, I put the... Oh, wait, hold on. I'll talk a little quieter, because I just want desktop audio before, for the previous one, so I probably came in a little louder, and I'll continue to talk a little quietly until my restreamer informs me that the audio has been adjusted. <laughs> and apologies if I came in a little hot there. That was, I knew I knew it was gonna happen, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, uh, up next, um, well, first off, just Carter uh, links in the chat uh, for the runner Carter Four and Four. And if you scroll up, there's a link to the Zapper Academy Discord, where if you're interested in learning how to play and speedrun some Zapper games, and you don't mind going on eBay to get one, or maybe you've got like a local. A local place you can go for for old stuff like that um then that discord's probably a good place to go or you could stick around here and stay tuned for the next run you might be looking at the schedule and thinking yogi the monk it's time it's fine finally time for yogi the monk's uh several runs back to back but you may also notice yogi's runs are supposed to start 50 minutes from now everyone has gone way too fast 